once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle and I am a fitness enthusiast who's been working out since I turned 30 when I noticed that my metabolism has slowed down because of my age <laughs> and I am here to help out moms like me or women like me who are wanting to finally get into fitness I got your back <laughs> So today we are on our 14th day of the Shape Up Challenge and summer is finally ending a few weeks from now here in the Philippines and we are still here in the Shape Up Challenge get ready for summer but why not? <laughs> All year round in the Philippines is sunny and it's considered summer? <laughs> no, I am not right about that. But before starting with the workout, let me just explain the 10 exercises that we are doing today. And before I forget, we will be doing slow and controlled movements here. We will be focusing on repetitions, quality over quantity. This way, we will be able to promote muscle hypertrophy and be able to build lean muscles that will enable us to have faster metabolism. So first is pulsing goblet squats. Do two pulses and then get up. Make sure that you push through your heels once you go up. And then when you squat, make sure that your toes or your knees are just above your toes to protect your knee from any injuries and make sure that you feel this workout on your glutes and this will also work your quads as well or your thighs so for the pulsing goblet squats we will do 10 repetitions of these I am using 20 pound dumbbell here but if you're a beginner start light second D is 8 per side uneven thrusters we will be doing squat press but with just one arm holding a dumbbell so eight per arm third exercise is one shoulder press into three tricep overhead extensions this will help with working the bulge here on your triceps make sure that when you push the weight on the overhead tricep extensions you will maintain tension and avoid bouncing the weights whenever you do this. Avoid rocking your body. Keep your body stationary as much as possible. Fourth is uneven push-up into shoulder tap. We will be doing five on each side. For beginners, you may do this on your knees. And for advanced, you may do a regular push-up. But for me, I am weak today, so... <laughs> I will not be doing the regular push-up for this workout. So the fifth one is reverse lunge into front calf raise. Five in each side. And then make sure that whenever you lunge back, your knee is just above your toe to protect your knee from any injuries. That's what I always say. And then push through your heel whenever you go up. Slow and controlled. Five in each side. The sixth one is reverse lunge into staggered deadlift. We will be doing eight reps in each side, five to eight. I am using eight, an eight pound dumbbell here, for, but for beginners, start light. You may also use jugs with sand inside. So as what I said, whenever you lunge back, knee is above your toe. And then on the staggered RDL, make sure that you hinge back through your hips, avoid arching your back and then push through your heels whenever you go up. This will be targeting your glutes or your butt muscles. Anyway, you will be doing that on your left and your right side. And finally, our eight exercise single arm row into press. Do this on your left and right side. Eight reps each. So drive the weights toward your hips on your rows. Feel this on your back here. This is for your bra bulge so that you will not have a bulge here. That is what we target whenever we do bent over rows or pulling motion exercises. And then for the press, press your shoulders on its way up. Single arm row into press. Finally, for our final exercise is the cardio part. Make sure that you give your all in this final exercise. Two plank jacks into two jumping jacks. For beginners, you may do this instead. 
you, you don't need to jump but just make sure that your back is always straight avoid arching your back to protect your spine and that's it let's go ahead with the workout oops but before starting with the workout i would love for you to click on the like share this video to your loved ones and then subscribe if you haven't already ring the bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video and let's get into it 